traction is pushing your company forward, implementing systems that work, having the right people. I'm going to touch on some of these. So vision is something that takes a little bit of time in the beginning. You have to answer some questions like, hey, what are your goals in the next year or the next five years? What are some numerical goals that you think you could hit? But once those are, once those are in place, you, you don't need to put as much work into that. You might refer to them. Your data and your scorecards, things that are measurable, these are things that you're going to touch on every week. Like, how are we doing every single day to get to where we're going? And it's part of this is reporting and part of this is accountability. Processes, you continue to improve your processes and make sure everybody's following them. Rocks, uh, scorecard and rocks, I'm really going to uh, unpack here a little bit. I'll show you some really good examples. But a, a rock is basically what's the priority for the next quarter. And then people on your leadership team will have their own rocks that they're working on so that in 90 days, they're going to accomplish that rock. And then issues, I think, boy, there's one of the biggest issues of I talk to owners all the time and there's this thing they struggle with in letting go. And I hear this expression, like, I'm just afraid that quality is going to go down. If I give that up, I feel like no one can do it as well as I can. And they're a little bit afraid to hire, to delegate, to let that baby go because they're really good at what they do. And it's hard to, to, uh, empower someone else to do that. And in the issues item and this thing called the IDS, identify, discuss, and solve. That's where you're really empowering not only an individual, but an entire team to help identify what the issues are in your company and discuss it, and then come to an agreement as a group to solve that issue and as a group to go forward, to help you get traction. That's, it's, that's really powerful for an owner to have their leadership team like help identify issues and then take ownership and to help your company grow. And that's, it's really powerful when you see that. And people, we've heard this from Jim Collins, you need the right people in the right seats. One of the giveaways to this training here is I'm going to give you a tool called the people analyzer. Just it's a very brief way to check in once a quarter with your employees to make sure that their actions, their behavior, and who they are is lining up with the company's core values. So big picture, that's what EOS is and some of the six uh, important components of it.